Hey guys, I'm here to share another video with you all. I've decided to actually do a what is in my purse video on my newest um, addition to my handbag collection. Um, so if you're interested, just stay tuned. Alright guys, in my what I got for Christmas, I showed you guys a new purse and I wanted to do a video on what I carry around in it. It's really small but it holds quite a bit in my opinion. It's a pers perfect crossbody and it has been on my wish list for so long and I finally managed to get it and I wanted to share a video with you guys. What's in my bag videos are some of my favorite videos to watch and film. So I thought it was just right to film a video with my new purse to share with you guys. Also, please forgive any noise in the background. It's sort of like mid-afternoon, so there's a little bit of traffic. And also, if I sound a little bit funny, please forgive me. I do have Invisalign, and I'm new to wearing my Invisalign trays, so my speech may be a little bit off, so please forgive me for that as I get used to it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright guys, so I wanted to share what was in my newest purse and the newest addition to my handbag collection is the Hermes Evelyn TPM size. So this is the smallest size that you can get so it's considered like a you know mini nano micro bag. There's so many names for them but you know Hermes, their craftsmanship and their bags are just amazing. I don't own any Hermes bags. Um, I do own a pair of orange sandals but that's about all I own but I wanted a small um, little Evelyn for the longest I've seen many people with these bags and I've always admired them so I got my hands on one it's just the black with the silver hardware it does I believe come in like a gold hardware as well I love the construction of this bag but this is not a review it's a what's in my bag so if you guys want a review on this bag please let me know the leather is amazing and um yeah let's get into what is actually in this bag so I don't actually carry my uh, cell phone in this bag it could fit I just am not a person really to carry my phone in my bag it's usually in my coat pocket in the summer I definitely probably would slip my phone in here it would fit I have a iPhone XR but I usually carry it in my coat pocket during the winter and fall um, so yeah I have my phone and then this bag actually has a button on the back of it. So this little um, strap here that holds it closed, um, there's no zipper or anything like that, um, comes apart from the back, which is great because then you get this really nice little design element. And um, if this was actually the open and closure part, this would be really, really hard to use. But it's so easy because it's just a little snap in the back. And it has a just regular cloth handle and then the rest of the back is all leather the un the inside is a like untreated leather um, so let's go ahead and get into this It's very messy so I thought this was a perfect time to share with you guys what's in my bag because I'm gonna clean it out this is currently my daily bag um, even to work because I carry excuse me I carry a tote bag to work with this like a little linen tote bag for my extra things like my planner and my laptop for work and stuff not laptop my iPad that I use for work I'll carry in that and I'll still just carry this like around me so the first thing I have in here you guys have already seen and it's my Louis Vuitton key um, six ring key holder so this is nothing new I just have the regular one with the brown interior I really love this to me this is like the quintessential SLG to have when you're starting your luxury collection because you definitely want to protect your handbags and your investments from your keys so this is a great way to hold your keys I love this also because it has a back little slip pocket here which I just keep my Metro card in for work so I just really really love this thing and was a great investment Next, I have my round um, uh, monogram coin purse from Louis Vuitton. And I actually just keep a pair of headphones in here. I do have eye um, AirPods, but in case they die, I like to kind of keep these on me. And I don't really keep change in this. This is what it's meant for change, but I don't keep change in here because I find that like it gets really heavy. And before my 
before um, my actual zipper kind of broke so I like to just keep other things so right now I'm keeping my headphones in here to keep them untangled and safe then I have my hand lotion you guys have seen this and my last so it's in my bag it's still going strong this is the Glossier hand cream I love this hand cream um, it's just so cute and it actually works it is very hydrating without being greasy um, with all the hand washing and hand sanitizer I feel like we are always having to put lotion on our hands so I have that the next thing I'm pulling out here is the um, my hand sanitizer and this is just a New York State clean so New York as a state makes their own hand sanitizer and if you go into the subway and certain places they'll be handing them out and I really actually love this hand sanitizer because it smells really good it smells like orange blossoms and I have so many of these for my mother as well because she actually works for um, she has a city job so she got me a bunch of these as well the next thing I have in here is just my work badge necessary to get in and out of work and then I have my cuticle oil this was in my last video I cannot live without cuticle oil it is imperative that I have it at all times I'm actually addicted to putting oil on my cuticles I have very like dry old lady hands I've said before like I feel like I was born with like old lady hands and so I'm always putting cuticle oil on my cuticles so that my hands look presentable but yeah even when I'm at work like I'll just find myself putting it on every two seconds then I have a Sharpie S gel pen so this is a Sharpie gel pen in the 0.7 uh, size so I really really love um, pens in general but I like to have my own pen on me especially right now with everything going on if you have to sign anything or anything like that you definitely want to have your own pen then I have a Starbucks gift card that I actually got from work uh, recently I need to put that in my little card holder um, so I'm definitely going to be using that and then I have my card holder of course this thing is stuffed to the brim because this bag is so small I can't fit my full-size wallet in here so this really has come in handy I have all my necessary cards in here my debit card credit cards health cards and things like that and I think I even have do I have my business cards in here no I took them out but yeah, this is essential, and this is just a Gucci Marmont card case that everyone and their mother has. But I really like it because the leather really stretches out over time, and you can fit so many different cards in here. I have a little index card with a grocery list on it that I wrote at work the other day. Um, I had to get some groceries because I was cooking. So I got I have that. I can throw that out. Then I have... Ooh, I have a pack of gum and I'm actually gonna have to give this away I'll just keep it at work at our at work um, so people can eat it because now with the infant line I really can't chew gum um, so I'll have to probably get some mints now then I have my airpods which I cannot live without and I have some really a uh, really I don't know if you can see it. I have a really cute sticker on it. And I change out the stickers on it every so often. Like when they start to get worn, I'll put like a new sticker on it. I um, really love my AirPods. I definitely can't, you know, live without them because I use them on my commute to work. And then I have some cash kind of just thrown in there. I also have, last but not least, some completely cleaned out now. Of course, what what's in my bag would there be without receipts I have a bank receipt and then I have what is this oh receipt from the hardware store because I had to get a new shopping cart if you live in New York City you probably own a shopping cart our previous one broke so I had to get a new one so yeah that's everything in the bag it is super squishy super squishy in this bag I just love it and like I said in my previous video, I probably won't be adding any handbags to my collection anytime soon. I feel like with this handbag in particular, I have reached, um, you know, a handbag or a purse piece. So I don't really want anything right now. Um, so I'm really just focusing on 
a few other things because I'm not really into collecting handbags because I'm so happy with what I already own. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my What's in My Handbag video. What handbag are you carrying right now? Is it a tote style bag? Are you into little mini crossbody bags? Do you carry a, just a shoulder bag? I tend to carry either a tote, like my Louis Vuitton Never Full to Work, or I'll carry like a little mini bag, and then I'll have like just a regular canvas or linen tote where I put my lunch and like I said, my iPad and stuff like that. If you're a New Yorker, we, we, we're bag ladies and bag men. We tend to carry multiple bags. Especially if you use the subway for transportation but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give me a like don't forget to subscribe if you are not already a subscriber to my channel turn on that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos and give me a comment down below thank you so much for watching my videos as always and I'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>